Okay, so I've been tagged. Um and I should have made this video a while ago. Uh and why a while ago? I mean back in March when I was actually tagged for this. So obviously this is way overdue. Uh I've just been incredibly lazy, I guess. Um so let's go. The tag is what are your five favorite books or book series? And I've already answered what number one is if you've seen Agent of Doubt Road Trip uh, series. So I'm going to play that so in case you haven't. What is the greatest book ever written? Um. It would probably be one of the Sherlock Holmes books. Okay, so number two would probably be this book, Fun Home, the graphic novel version. It's uh, basically a memoir by Alison Bechtel, um, and it's really good. It uh, basically it follows her life, especially her childhood, and it shows both she and her dad are fighting homosexuality and it is definitely a good read. Number three would definitely be the Harry Potter series. and I don't think I really need to explain it. It is just totally awesome. I mean, when the seventh book came out, I was at the bookstore at midnight. I waited, I was, I waited in line for maybe a half an hour in the night stayed up until 5.30 that morning reading the whole thing. Uh, I just really enjoy that series. It's, it's just awesome. There's no other word for it. Number four is a tie. It's between Friedrich Nietzsche's Thus Spoke Zarathustra and uh, Max Stirner's book The Ego in Its Own which I don't have a hard copy of that one, which uh, Secular Numinous has yelled at me for not having one, but uh, those two definitely take number four. Both of them changed my life when I read them, especially Nietzsche. Uh, there is, there's a lot of stuff in this book. There's some cool ideas and there's some stupid ideas, and I think that is what makes this thing interesting because it forces a person to think for themselves because some of these ideas are uh, extremely good ones and some of them are kind of eh. So I would definitely recommend reading that one and the same thing for the ego on its own. It definitely changed my perspective on the relation between the individual and society. And uh, number five, this one's a bit of a tougher one to pick, but it would probably be The Lost Mind by Christopher Pike. It's basically a book about where a person wakes up and doesn't remember who she is, and then she realizes that she's waking up next to a dead body. And the entire book is basically her trying to figure out what happened. So, that, those are my favorite books, but I want to hear about yours. These are the people I'm telling. See ya.